In this tutorial, you learn how to make an API call from an Angular application to an API running on Express Framework. So let's get started by creating an Angular application. I'll go to the command prompt and create an application using the Angular CLI. ng new angular app creates an angular application with the boilerplate code yes 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 now that creates your angular application now navigate to the angular application folder and start the application. Once you have the application running, open your browser and type in the URL. You should have the application running. Now, since we have an Angular application up and running, let's create a node API I'll move out of the angular project and create a node project we'll start by initializing the node project We'll be using Express Framework for creating the REST APIs. So let's install it using the npm package manager. <coughs> Once you have Express Framework installed in your node project, open the project folder using Visual Studio Code. Inside the project folder create a file called app.js. Now this file will serve as a root file for the Express API. Start by importing Express Framework. Okay. Cons Express equals to require Express create an app using Express now this app will listen to a port number 3000 and once the application is up and running, it will print the following message to the terminal. Express API is running at port 3000. Also, let's create an endpoint called get data. When you hit this endpoint, it will return a JSON output with the status code and a status message. Process. Save it and try running this thing in the terminal using node. Navigate to your browser and try hitting the API endpoint.
you'll see the JSON output in the stream. Once you have your Angular application and your new REST API ready, it's time that we connect Angular application to the REST API. So let's see how you can do that. We'll start by importing a HTTP client module, which is used for making API calls from Angular. The first thing what we need to do is import the HTTP client module inside app.component.es. Import HTTP client module from Angular slash HTTP. Import the HTTP client module here. Now you are good to go. Now for making the API call, we'll be making use of Angular services. So let's create a new service called app service inside the app component. Okay, once you have the app service created, let's go to the app service file. Import the HTTP client. Create an instance of the HTTP client. Oops. Okay. Now create a method called get data, which will make use of this. HTTP instance to get data from the API. Now this thing returns an observable, so we'll simply return this and subscribe to the observable in our app component. Let's navigate to the app component. Here we'll be making an API call when the app gets initialized. So let's implement on init. ng on init. Let's create a method called get data from API. Which subscribes to the service call here. Import the service. App service. Here. Yeah. This dot service dot get data. Let's subscribe to this thing. dot subscribe okay once you get an response from this thing we'll log the response if an error is returned, we log the error also. Okay. Let's call this method when the app gets initialized. Okay. 
Now, if you run the application using npm start, let's see if your app is also okay. The Angular, the Node API is also there. So let's see what happens. <coughs> Now, okay, now let's reload our Angular application and check the browser console to see if the API call is being made. As you can see, it's an error in the console. The error is failed to load resource. The server responded with a status of 400 not found. Now if you switch here to the error, it says the following URL is not found. The Angular application is looking for the API at port number 4200, but our API is running at port number 3000. So we need to redirect the requests that are coming, that are coming to slash API to our port 3000. So how to do that? In order to do that, you need to create a proxy config in your Angular application. So let's go to our Angular application. Go to the root folder and create a file called proxy.conf.json. Inside this thing, create a configuration like this, which says anything that comes to slash API slash star, it needs to be targeted to localhost 3000. And rewrite the URL to rewrite the URL slash API or something that starts with layout star slash API to plant. Okay. Now, in order to, so it simply means that if a URL is an API, if, an, if, if a request comes to a URL called slash API slash get data, it needs to be redirected Direct to HTTP localhost 3000 and the URL which starts with slash API it needs to be replaced with a blank thing so it gets redirected to get data. Now this is our node API URL. So let's see how this works. Now in order, in order to tell the Angular application that it needs to follow this configuration, we need to provide a proxy config. So in order to do that, you need to go, you need to run the Angular application with a proxy config, proxy conf dot json, conf dot json. Now this runs the API as the, your Angular application with this particular proxy configuration. Now let's reload the Angular application and see if this proxy stuff works. Now if you go to the browser console, you can see, oops, there is some error. Okay, let's see what the error is. Um, it says the gateway timed out. So it seems like something is missing in our API, okay, okay. Now this this seems to be path rewrite, and I think we are missing a slash here. Okay, now this should work. Now let's try it again. Okay.
now let's reload or hang okay it already gets reloaded and as you can see we have successfully made the api call you can see here here's the api call so we requested the api url local host 4200 slash api slash get data and it gets redirected to our node rest api and we get the response status code 200 status message sucks okay so that's all for this video if you found this video useful please do comment and let me know or if you have any doubts related to this video please do make sure to comment uh, to comment below this video and we can take it forward thank you